Alright. Speak with the crystal Zark at the ocular. How about this? Uh, oh, okay. Dustle gate. Okay, I have to find uh Oh, look at this! Oh, he has uh, horns too! Just like all those uh, 2009 uh, furries back in DeviantArt. Ah, how did you find your new quarters? I trust you were able to rest. Not really, it came with a ghost. I wasn't very happy about that. I had a ghostly visitor. I was not aware the room was haunted, and you were rather tired. Are you implying well, this is my? Should you receive another visitation? <laughs> be sure to let me know. <laughs> Are you implying I'm going insane? Excuse you. Now, let us return to the subject of the Scion's whereabouts. Hey, I think the ghost is kind of important. He he was a very significant person in this tale. This map shows the lands of Norvrand, the only area to be spared the Flood of Light. Um... Why does it look like it's taking the- taking up the entire world, though? The Crystarium is here, in the region known as Lakeland. Okay. And to the north is the Fairy Kingdom of Il Meg. That is where you'll find Orianger. Alright. To the east lies the once prosperous civilization of Rak Tika. Your stola is stationed there, in the heart of the forest. All right. Alas, neither location can be reached without considerable difficulty. Oh, uh, well, good for them to give me considerable such, difficulty. I first seek out one of the twins, each of whom is stationed but a short flight from the Crystarium. Alphino is on Calusia. An island off the western shore. It is home to a city called Yulmore, where the rich and privileged while away their days in idleness. <laughs> is there really such a place? <laughs> wow. For his part in furthering our cause, Alphino journeyed there to meet with the citizenry and forge alliances. From what I hear, he has since kept himself busy gathering information around the main settlement. Alize, meanwhile, traveled south to the arid wastes of Armoreng. Armoring. They lie upon the very edge of the inhabitable world, where the flood of light was halted. Those who dwell there live in constant fear of attack by the Sin Eaters. Hmm. In contrast to her brother, Alize felt that her energies would better be spent learning about the enemy, and thus she sells her services as a guard, both to hone her skills and gather information on our foe. So, will it be Calicia or Armoreng? It matters not which you choose to visit first. Search of Alphano. Do I want to visit my elf son or my elf daughter first? Hmm. Decisions. 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 We reunite with Alphano and do I put it a player? His communication starts fail gladly searches women. We need to be over. You should be able to communicate during between worlds. The device there will serve as per portal. Simply touching a hand to its surface will transport you to the location of the beacon I left at the base of the tower, in theory at least. Hmm. I'm not really I'm not really uh trusting your theories right now, considering what you've just done to everyone. Hmm. Got elf son, elf daughter. Uh let me visit LSA first. I mean I'm okay with LSA. Ready to depart for Amarang. Alice will be overjoyed to see you safe. I know she was particularly concerned for your well-being. She uh, impressed upon me how regrettable the timing of her summoning was repeatedly. Mm hmm. I, I could imagine. I only hope that my part in sending you to her will garner me some measure of forgiveness. Here, this letter of introduction addressed to a man named Cassard, the master of a merchant caravan. For a few who know the ways of the desert as well as he does, find him at the Amaro launch and he will see you reach your destination. Alright, I'm coming for your LSA. Arm Orang. 
From this parched earth, the nation of Nabath array once rose. When I journeyed here, long ago, I spoke with a sun-weathered elder. He told me our Mareng meant majestic land in the language of his people. Mm -hmm. And so it might still be, were it not for the Light's unrelenting onslaught. Hey, where is my promised mount? You said you would give me a mount. Not that I don't have like a hundred of them. Oof, no matter how many times I come here, the heat never fails to catch me off guard. Don't be surprised when the temperature drops at night, though the sky is still bright, of course, but it gets brisk enough to make you shiver. Now, the Exarch's letter said I was to take you to the inn at Journey's Head, which is where this Alice friend of yours is staying. That's a fair old distance, so I propose we make a stop in Mordsock to break up the trek, allowing me to attend to some business and you to enjoy the local hospitality. Sound good? Good. No! I want to get to the action right away. All right, you lot. I'm off. I better not see any goods covered in sand when I get back. Yes, boss. We head southwest. Straight an arrow. Okay. All right. Day moth. I wish I could go back to Crister Crysterium, see my daughter once in a while. There's so much to do. I doubt I'll have a chance anytime soon. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah, oh, yes, finally. Alright, jiggle those hips. I, I'm gonna turn off mountain music. I did it when Stormblood came because the area, the zone music was actually pretty okay. Uh, what is it? Yeah, this is actually pretty chill. I like it. I appreciate all you've done, Silken. Gigantender. Damn. And that's level 70. Okay. Desert Armadillo. Oh, this is, uh... Okay. Well, let's stay away from that for now. Hired guard, hired guard. So I go straight as an arrow over here. Oh my god, I'm getting uh, Final Fantasy XII feels. Which is funny because I've actually s tried replaying it again, but I just haven't had time to play it. Oh, you want a tango? Come on! like Gunbreaker. It, it, it plays very, very smoothly. Stop here a moment. This is your first visit to Amarang. Uh -huh. If you cross the river of sand, you need to turn around and feast your eyes on that. Okay, what am I feasting my eyes on? Turn around and feast my eyes on what? Admire the view. Oh, here? Okay. Oh god. What was that? Oh, oh man, that's that looks pretty bad. I've never finished Final Fantasy XII. That's why I tried playing it again, but I kept getting uh, distracted. They built them big, didn't they? That's Quasir Sharl, a fortress meant to protect the northern reaches of Nabath Arang. Seeing what was left behind, I believe it when they say that it was once one of Norvent's mightiest nations. Hmm. Oh, that's sad. At least until the flood came along, great chunks of Norvent's orang's lands were lost to light. It's great to see included. The few who survived didn't see much point sting, most of them anyway. No, not many chose to come here these days, not with everything in ruins. Even the hulking great fortress has become little more than a marrow roost for me and my caravan. 
But not everywhere is deserted as this place. Just wait until you see more in salt. Let's press on, shall we? What if I... What if I fought this? I just wanna see. This 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 uh, battle theme it's reminding me of uh, Crisis Core, uh, because Zach's um, all of Zach's battle themes were really good too. Like this, uh, wow, that's a big uh, Sugar. What are you doing? Hey, bye. Wait, are you a level seventy? You're a level eighty, right? You look like a hunt. No, you're not. Oh, you're- yeah, yeah, you're level 80. Sibilus. Okay, I'm staying away from you. Oh, look, there's a red cactus man. Is that a hunt, too? Ah, uh, Malik Tender. Oh. Oh, I'm staying away from you, too. What's this person doing? Why are you dying? Well, I'm, uh, I guess you want to die, so I'm just gonna leave you to do that. Here we are, more talk by the blessed shadow. I love this town. Oh. Hazard stands at the entrance of Mordsok, an eager smile on his face. Mordsok, not just full of more, Mord, what is Mord? But Humes and all manner of others too, it has been a few huge for folk displaced by the f flood, so population is nothing if not diverse. Oh, have you met a Mord before? It might look like shifty little blighters, but a more welcoming lot you could never wish to meet. Speaking of wish, we should play our size the again again. I'll go ahead and let them know we've arrived. Okay. Are you a Mord? You, uh... Oh, no. These are kobolds without their helmets to hide their faces. Now that I can see them, they look like little black mages. Greetings. Buy something and help me feed my son. He has grown big and strong and is eating me out of house and home. <laughs> <laughs> isn't that isn't that how every child is? <laughs> Buying supplies at the right price is a simple enough task. Transporting the damn things under our hand is a different matter entirely. Oh, thank you. I can purchase your wares. Which I've already gotten anyway, so I don't need your wares. Where's the rest of the gear? I only got like a uh, shirt and pants, but nothing else. Zolzol, Zol. hi. Can you not see very busy important business? I would have you know. Oh, they don't talk like kobolds. Uh, fair enough. Till till, they don't have the same uh, naming convention either. You want some scavenged wares, or maybe you are looking for a job. Always looking for hard workers, I am. Cool. I knew this day would come eventually when they would take off that those masks and then show you what <laughs> a kobold's face really looks like. Hmm, they, did you tell me that Alice was here? Um I guess I can see now why she would want to stay here. Yes, sir. 
Juan, introduce yourself to Master Gengen. So this is a more that's a kobold. What beady eyes you have. Shoot, whoa, which would be the most uh <laughs> which would be the most appropriate answer? This is a mord? Yeah, sure. Master Gengen, this is the friend of the Exarch I was telling you about. Very good, very good. Though friend or no, all are welcome in Mords. Mords, wow, I didn't even Souk is catch that. Mordish for city. As okay. things stand, this souk boasts the largest and busiest marketplace in all Armorang. You'll find ore from the mines here, of course, but all manner of other things too, many of them rare. Ooh. As I told you before, not many visit Armorang by choice, but Mord souk's a different story. Merchants come from miles around to purchase the relics the Mord dig up. Aye, that they do, for Mords do not dismiss the spoils of the earth. We clean them and polish them and reveal to the world their true value. That is why they come here, come from far away, come with much money. Uh, the, the, the voice acting is impressive, I like it. And so our souk is always busy, busy, busy. No such thing as a thing no one needs. You say that every time, Master Gengen. Some sort of family motto, wasn't it? Or perhaps a Maud philosophy, for which we should all be very grateful. Would that everyone was so willing to take in refugees, regardless of race or creed. Now then, if you intend to spend any time here, you'll want to gain the trust of the locals. And there's a little custom all newcomers are expected to observe. The cracking of the coin purse. You buy one thing from the market. Price can be low or high, just as long as you buy. As the good Maud says. In fact, the Exarch sent a little something to cover this very expense. A Verbert gold piece, no less. The first I've held in years. Oh, I'm glad he actually... Gold? What? Hey, oh, Verbert gold? Uh... Oh shit. Here, newcomer, crack your coin pass with me. Um no, no, you want Michael to newcomer. I have jars and pots all smooth and shiny. Uh, I'm not really looking for a relationship right now. Over here! Come and look! You why, you why? Enough of that! Calm, I say! This one must still journey through the barrel. Nothing bulky, nothing heavy, no pots. Nothing better for the road than a full belly. Spend that piece at Ron Ron's place, yes? Eat for three before you leave. Dude, I like whoever's selling Gengen right now. I, I like Gengen. Conrad's shop is best for eating. Crack your coin purse and gouge on the delicious delicacies. Crack your coin purse. That's a, that's a, that's a way of saying it. A full, full bird type honor seems a bit rich for buying a dented pan or a bowl of worms. The Dukes are lose to you at cards or something. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. Everybody wants it, so I might as well find something good to spend it with. I was gonna say it was, I'm surprised he actually trusted you with that coin, and you didn't run off, run off with it. What's this? Buffalo beans. Okay, buffalo beans are fun of buffalo are fun of beans that have been known to eat tire crops if left unchecked. Paprika. Okay. Gelatin and sheep casings. What? Okay. All right, run, run. What you got for me? Traveler. 
I have wares to empty your purse and fill your belly. Take your time, stir and sniff before you choose, but no jeweling on the merchandise, yes. May move the cameras as well as zoom in and out. Target a food stuff and inspect it. Oh my god, I have to do this? Okay. Wow, what the hell is this? <laughs> Run Run's eatery has a variety of goods available for purchase. So let me take out my binoculars and just zoom in and out of your wares. You know, just uh, take a good look at all the cellular components of it. Ever-burning bounty made with the best parts of the lizard. Ah, cured with special spicy spices. Some find the smell challenging, but it'll warm you up on a chilly desert night. Therefore, uh... That's bread. I call that mush loaf. The middle is stuffed with bittersweet cactus fruits, so even if the bread dries out, it is still moist inside. Keep- keeps it going in the heat. Uh, okay. I never heard of that before, but that sounds interesting. Worms. Ooh, yummy. Everyone's favorite plump white worms slathered in honey. Once you eat a glazed wiggler, you'll never want any other treat. Man, you're selling it to me. I almost want to try it, almost. So where's this mysterious fort, uh, thing? Skewers. Oh. Oh. Oh, you'll like those chewy skewers. Find, find small frogs hiding under rocks, spear with a stick, then roast over a fire. Crackly on the outside, gooey on the inside, perfect- uh Hmm, I don't know. They all look tasty, yes? Which to choose, which to choose? Um, I don't know, this is a really good gold coin that I want to spend on stuff that probably won't agree with me. Uh, ever-burning bounty. Chewy skewer, glazed wiggler. Do I want the questionable meat? Do I want the frog on a stick? No, this is the frog on a stick. No, the mush loaf is the bread with the stuff inside. Mmm, glazed wiggler. I don't know, that, that seems to be the less suspicious of the bunch, actually. Yeah, sure. Just give me the worms. Too good to resist, eh? That's what I would've chosen. Uh-huh. You have the gold? Yeah, take the gold. Fifteen jars of worms, yippee. <laughs> uh, it's too bad that I can't see my face and the questioning look she's probably giving it. What? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> oh no. Will you eat the lot every lot? I think I'll share her. Yeah! Oh man, that sounds. <laughs> that looks bad. <laughs> You know what? Why, why not be generous? Why be selfish about it? Our visitor invites us to a feast. Let's give her thanks for her great generosity and small appetite. <laughs> oh yeah, you're all welcome. Just get it out of my sight. Consider your coin purse cracked. Um, I am pleased to accept your custom and Gengen will be pleased that you honored ours. Okay. Oh no, what? Really? Wow. Keeping the merchandise down. Yes, no returns. Fair enough. 